Hey Kathleen, it's Ryan at Hewlett Volkswagen. I'm here with the gorgeous crossbar that you and I have been talking about. I saw your last email, uh, you wanted a video to cover some questions that you're having about the car. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and get into it. So Kathleen, I know you had some uh, concerns about you and your husband Steve finding uh, comfortable seating positions in this car when you uh, do take turns as to who's gonna be driving it. So I wanna draw your attention to this little uh, set of buttons down here on the driver's seat. You have a set button followed by these three numbers. These are memory seat settings. So say your husband's driving the car, he can roll the seat back to his preferred position, tap set, and then hold down two since he's gonna be not the primary driver. So all he has to do, get in the car, tap the number two, the seat rolled to his position. When it's your turn to drive again, all you have to do is hit one, hold one rather, and the seat will roll back to where you have set it. So hope that clears that part up. It's really handy if you have multiple drivers using the same car. Uh, it, you don't have to find your comfortable seating position after getting out of the car for a little bit. Moving to the back of your cross sport, uh, I also wanted to touch on the tailgate here because you have this great cargo space here. I'm not sure if this might be a little bit of a reach for you. You said you're a five foot one. I'm not gonna make any judgments, but if this is a little bit high for you, this tailgate, you can reset, tapping this button, tap it again, and then if you hold it, listen for that chime, this will be the new opening height of uh, the tailgate here. If you wanna reset it to its full height, simply push up to its full height, hold this again, and it resets. Hope that clears that up. Moving on to your gorgeous dark beige interior in your Crossport, I wanted to touch on your questions about the Park Assist feature. You'll notice that Park Assist feature right here. If you tap that, it's going to bring up um, what is essentially a self-parking aid, which honestly will be better for us to uh, demo together once you're here for your test drive. I'll do it first and then I'll give you a chance to do it. Basically, the car is going to steer for you into a space once it detects an available parking space while you control the gas and brake for the car. So it's not gonna do anything too crazy without you uh, telling it to do so. But a little bit easier for us to uh, demonstrate that once you're here in person, uh, cause it does take a little bit getting used to. It's kind of a weird sensation. We'll go over that together, take turns doing it till you're comfortable with it. It is very handy if you're, you know, driving any, you know, downtown type settings or just, you know, places with tight parking, car takes some of that stress off that job for you. You had some questions about this uh, center console setup uh, here in the back seat. So your rear passengers do have their own uh, climate controls right here. You're asking about a, a control panel here on the back. Uh, so they do have their own zone of climate control back here so they can make it warmer or cooler than you might have it set uh, up front up there. Uh, they also have charging ports right down here. Uh, they're USB-C's, so if they want to charge their devices while they're in the car, they have that luxury available to them. So if you're, you know, driving clients around, you maybe have, you know, several folks with you who need to be in the back seat, they need to charge their devices while you're on the move, they can do that. If Sarah and Connor are back here on, you know, one of your family ski trips, again, they have that luxury available to them. They can fight over the climate controls, as I'm sure siblings are wont to do. Wouldn't know. I'm an only child, but I assume they like to bicker over that. But they do have those comforts available to them. So I wanted to uh, point that out for you. Well, Kathleen, back up front, I wanted to point out the uh, navigation system uh, to you. You said you rely on CarPlay for navigation right now when you're going uh, to and from somewhere and would like to kind of be free of that. So I wanted to give you a little uh, breakdown of how this uh, Volkswagen navigation system is going to help with that. Um, you'll see it most immediately. It's right here on the center screen. It is independent from CarPlay. So you won't get notifications or messages interrupting you when you're driving a client somewhere, interrupting your conversation, disrupting the flow of uh, you know, what you have going on there. And you mentioned you wanted to be able to have it here. This is a much preferable place to have your navigation. It's right there in your line of sight for the road. You're not going like this and like this and like this if you're checking directions. I'll show you how to get it to uh, the digital cockpit right here. If you approach the screen with your hand, it'll bring up this little hamburger icon. Tap that and simply check display map and instrument cluster. And voila, there you have your destination. It'll bring up your next instruction in a little black box right here. Uh, when you have a uh, turn or an exit coming up, keeping this center screen free of you know navigation, you'll be looking around having that added distraction 
when you're uh, trying to get to a new location and maybe not familiar with the area you're traveling in. This concludes our little uh, demonstration of the crossword we've been talking about, Kathleen. I hope you found that really uh, helpful to the uh, last questions you asked. Again, really looking forward to uh, getting to drive this with you in the next few days, show you the park assist, and demonstrate those navigation features again if you'd like to see those. Uh, of course, give me a call or email if you have any questions about what we saw here, and I'll talk to you soon.